Welcome to day 78 of at home quarantine. Welcome to day seven of quarantine. Up here in Seattle, we are just finishing up on our first week of staying home. My husband is out riding his bike because it's the last sunny day here in Seattle for many many days unfortunately so he is going to go enjoy the sunshine and i am going to make a haul video for you guys <laughs> i hope everybody is staying home and i hope that you guys are not going through shopping right now because there's so many other ways to source from the safety and comfort of your own home one of those ways is making a post on next door craigslist facebook market asking your friends neighbors and even family um who are probably spring cleaning their homes right now. Everybody's going through all their stuff and getting rid of it, so you can just put out an ad saying, hey, if you just bag stuff up in a trash bag, leave it on your porch, I can come pick it up, I can pay you, you can donate it to me. Um, so that's one way. Another way is through online resources such as The Real Real and ThreadUp, TradeZ, Poshmark you can source on as well. Um, and also like Goodwill auctions, you can do retail arbitrage like on Nordstrom Rack, Shop Bop, uh, Hot Look, 6 p.m. Um, I know, it sucks. I know, I know, it sucks. I know, I know. There's a lot of opportunities out there that will continue to hold your health and safety paramount and the safety and health of others, which is very important. Um, but anyways, a couple weeks ago, um, I went on the Real Real and Thread Up when I was kind of slowing down my visits to the Goodwills because I was watching the news and was becoming increasingly fearful. Um, and so I started looking into online resources for uh, items to sell um, about three weeks ago, and I purchased a few items from the Real Real and from ThreadUp. Um, I sent in a ThreadUp Lux box a couple months ago and they chose nine items and I sold one of them. It was a Marc Jacobs dress and that sold for about $2.50. And so I ended up getting about two forty dollars or so in trade and so I just used all of my trade on ThreadUp and used it to reinvest in my business and to get more items to sell. Um, so let's get into it. First, I've got this Christy Dawn. It's a canvas tote bag. I don't know if you can see that, but it says Christy Dawn right there. A canvas and burlap tote bag. This is just for myself because the comps on it don't look that great, but this is kind of like my one degree of separation from getting a dress from Christy Dawn because I still haven't been able to source one or find one because they are just so gorgeous and on everybody's bolo list. So this is the next best thing, a Christy Dawn tote. No one will know the less that I don't own a Christy Dawn dress. So, poser alert. Um, next is one of the pieces that I kind of regret purchasing, but um, it's one of my favorite designers. It's Joanna Ortiz, and it is a swim piece. Uh, Joanna Ortiz swimsuit new with tags from Neiman Marcus retailed for 200 and it's so cute it's this baby blue swimsuit uh, but it has kind of like I don't know it has kind of like a thong kind of style cut out but then it's got snap closures on the bottom which like kind of opens up your chances to a incredibly unfortunate wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> so, I don't know, I wanted to return this because I spent, I think I spent like 50 or $60 on this, which I shouldn't have done. Like why am I, I shouldn't have done that. And then it turns out 
I did some more research on this and it turns out that it's not even a swimsuit. It's a bodysuit made out of swimsuit material. So I just feel like this was not a good buy. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and list it, but uh, I would, yeah, definitely check your comps in the future when you're buying higher price items and don't just get swept up in the moment of finding a label or designer that you covet. So, whoever would like to buy this from me at Sheared Threads, hit me up. Other piece from The Real Real. This is Mara Hoffman, who puts out really fun, colorful, bright pattern pieces. Uh, a lot of swimwear, a lot of summer beach vacation wear. Very boho, lots of colors, lots of fun mix uh, textures and prints. And this is just a long sleeve, uh, full button down with uh, kind of like marbled mother of pearl tortoiseshell buttons and then kind of a high-low hem so it cuts off right there and there's the back then cuff sleeves and a collared neck and then it's got this fun tassel print along there with kind of this chevron um yeah in pockets and it's really cute i paid up for this one as well i think i paid like 20 for it but this retails for quite a bit and i found one comp on ebay that's listed for 150 or so so that is a great profit margin and i'll take it so hopefully somebody will pick this up and then uh last piece from the real real is this brand oh, the sleeves are huge is this brand and designer that i adore Moda Operandi is one of my favorite go-to fashion sites. I can't afford anything on there, but I just, I adore it. And I look at it for inspiration and new styles. And uh, so this is one of their big designers and brands on there. It's Ackler and it's new with tags and they just put out really, really beautiful um, dresses and kind of separates. And this is no exception to that. It is a bustier crop top, incredibly structured and fitted with kind of this bra snap closure. I'm sorry, it's a zipper, Never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, and it's new with tags and it's got these huge statement, okay, huge statement off the shoulder ruffle puff sleeves. It's just filled with tulle to the brim. It's so cute for a modern bride, for a vacation in Tulum. It's just, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I think that this retailed for probably two to three fifty, and I got it on the real real for I think fifty or so. And again, the only reason why I got it was because I. The pictures were misleading and it actually looked like it was a dress and I got excited by the terms new with tags and the designer's label and I just got a little bit ahead of myself without doing my due diligence and I bought it. Uh, so hopefully it does well. It's an incredible piece. CNN news alert just giving me more scary things to read. Okay so uh, oh, and there's one more piece. So this is the last piece from the Real Real haul. This was a great deal. Everyone's favorite, Veronica Beard. Um, this is a gorgeous silk blue and white patterned uh, sleeveless blouse, tank blouse, with this really fun New York Greek coffee cup style pattern. Oh, it's so cool. It's a size six and it's just beautiful. It's perfect for the season. I don't see any flaws. And um, I think I got it for 20 or 25 or something. Um, the main difference between the Real Real and ThreadUp is price points and also designers. The Real Real only accepts premium designers and brands, whereas ThreadUp is kind of 
universal. They'll take anything. The price points on the real real, they don't sell anything below $15. They the prices don't reach below $15, but you can get a lot of really cool pieces that would be quite more on thread up. Like this probably would have been like 70 or 90, 70 to 90 on thread up, as well as this Mara Hoffman dress, but they only have designer pieces on the real real, and so you can really luck out with their clearance section. Um, I know if it's your first time purchase, you can get, I think I got $30 off when you spend a certain amount, or it was like, it was either, it was either 20% off or a certain dollar amount on your first purchase, so I will link that below if I can find anything, but definitely worth uh, checking out at least the clearance section for those higher end, uh, traffic attracting items for your closet. So now this is all stuff from ThreadUp. So first we've got Cameo Collective. This is a bustier crop top with a structured bralette and a fold over, um, I don't know what it's called, with fold over fabric, I don't know what that's called. <laughs> um, and then with a bra snapback. And it's so fun for spring. It's super structured and it's just a great separate piece. Um, it's a size extra, extra small. And I'm not sure what to list it at. Cameo Collective is sold on ASOS and Shopbop and Urban Outfitters and Nordstrom and all the like. And it's just a really cool brand. Um, so yeah, definitely look that up. Cameo Collective does retail a bit higher. I think it's probably like the higher 50s to like the 200s, but they put out really beautiful items, and if you find them in the thrift, definitely pick them up. So on ThreadUp, you have the ability to search by brand in the outlet and clearance section, and that's actually where most of these pieces came from, was from the outlet, which is uh, their clearance section and it's where you can find the best deals for reseller sourcing because most of the pieces you can get for two to like ten dollars Which is pretty much what you'd be paying at Goodwill anyways um, And this one brand is called keepsake And they put out really really fun trendy pieces um, they are sold on Urban Outfitters and ASOS as well, Nordstrom, Shopbop, all the like. Um, and they have a lot of pieces on ThreadUp and they are not expensive. So I, I picked up a bunch of keepsake pieces because they have good resale value. And uh, they're very cute and trendy pieces and they are very low priced on ThreadUp. So would definitely recommend looking up that brand on ThreadUp if you are looking to store some new pieces. Um, but anyways, this is just a really pretty ruffle trim detail uh, tank top. Feels like chiffon. It's just this beautiful ivory piece. Perfect for bridal looks, perfect for spring, for a garden party. Most of the pieces that I got were intended for spring and summer pieces. Which honestly, I don't know if people are even looking for right now because the state of the world and if we're even gonna be able to leave our houses in the next couple months, but that's just my anxiety speaking, hopefully. Um, this is another one. This is Keepsake the Label. This is what another one of the tags looks like. And it's just this really fun lace eyelet crop top with kind of a scalloped hem. I think I might list this at like 20 or so. We'll just... something low. It's just an easy basic spring piece. And we've got one more. Ooh, that looks like it actually has some damage. Oh, bummer. That sucks. Ooh, that does suck. And it's in its final sale, too. There's quite a bit of staining and damage on there. Which it didn't say, and it's new with tags, so I can't wash it. Bummer! I'm docking a point from you, ThreadUp. That sucks. I'll try to wash it and just remove the tag, so. Mm. 
Um, next up is this Wilfred. Wilfred is a brand that is sold at Aritzia. It's, it's one of their in-house brands and it does pretty well on, um, on Poshmark. But this is just a really cute knitted, it's a linen blend yarn uh, sweater tank top, which I thought would be a really good transitional piece right now. Like this on top of a, on top of a turtleneck or like a button up crisp white shirt with some jeans would be so cute. Let's see, it's a size large. And yeah, I just love the color pattern of it. And I think I got it for five or six dollars. If I found this in Goodwill, I would have picked it up. So I went ahead and added it to my cart on ThreadUp. So next, here is a tip for shopping on ThreadUp. They are processing so many pieces daily that they're not going to catch everything. This piece was actually listed as a skirt and just it looked terrible on the mannequin and it just did not sell. So this was $3 in the clearance section. This is actually a tiered ruffled strapless dress from Keepsake, the label as well. And it's new with tags. And I looked it up, so it's the, the Give It Up pleated dress. And I looked it up and this actually retailed for quite a bit. So definitely keep an eye out for that. If you see things that are super cheap on ThreadUp and they don't look that great on the mannequin, give it a second look because those could actually be some really good investment pieces for you um, if they were just overlooked or displayed in a very aesthetically unpleasing way. Pleated, multi-tiered, very cute. This is a label that I love, I love. This is Avec Les Fils, Avec Les Fils, Avec Les Fils. Um, and this is just a really pretty smocked, smocked mock neck, uh, gathered 70s inspired dress with long puff peasant smocked cuffed sleeves and a smocked waist and an added ruffle hem and a large keyhole back with the um, loop and button closures and it's so cute i'm telling you guys prairie dresses are the star of the show right now so if you see anything 70s or prairie dress related, snatch it up because it's what's hot right now. And also Avec Les Fils, look out for that label. Next is a gorgeous, um, I think it's a linen blend. It's probably just polyester, but it feels like a linen blend dress. It's cotton, 100% cotton and viscose. Could have been worse. Um, this is a label that I was very excited to find and I found it through needsupply.com which is a very cool minimalist indie designer uh, clothing retailer that is situated online and this brand is called Stellan. And it's a size small and it's, it's new with tags. And it's this really cute dress. Very bad at describing things. But it's kind of like this cap sleeve. I don't know, I don't know. A cap sleeve? I don't know. But it's a ruffle sleeve dress with a full zip back fit and flare with a cinched, uh, sorry, with a ruched skirt and tie. Can you tell I'm really good at writing descriptions on Poshmark? <laughs> Maybe that's why my stuff isn't selling. So here's a tip to find these kind of smaller brands and house designers is go on Nordstrom, go on ASOS, go on Urban Outfitters, go on Shopbop, go on Need Supply, go on these websites uh, that have styles that you really love and then look at the brands that you may never have heard before, but make really beautiful and cute trendy pieces. Those brands might not be completely recognizable and may be overlooked by other people on ThreadUp and The Real Real, and 
you can pick them up and then when you list them on Poshmark, just put them under like Anthropology or ASOS or Nordstrom or, or whatever to get exposure for them because that is where they retail at. Hot tip. Here is another keepsake, the label. Pleated ruffles, necktie, big statement bell sleeves. Doesn't get much better than that. Perfect 70s inspired blouse. It's so pretty. It's got the button and hoop closures, full zip back, pleated uh, ruffle detailing, v-neck, deep v-neck with a tie closure. Perfect for work, for the office, for working at home. Next we have another keepsake dress. I don't know how well this is going to show on camera, but it's just a cute little cocktail dress. It's new with tags um, and kind of has this peplum ruffle waist with a full zip back. Cute, basic, fold over skirt style hem with this big round half circle bust line. Ouch. Cute basic. It's new with tags. I'll take it. We've got another piece by Avec Les Fils. And this is really pretty. Perfect for spring and summer. It's got a crossover style bodice with this snap closure. Um, an open back. It's about maxi midi length. And then it has that ruffle detail hem. It's fully lined. It's just really cute for spring and summer coming up, for vacations, for weddings, for Hopefully all the things that will still be going on in the next couple months. And um, yeah. Yep, just a cute spring piece. This piece, I wish I had found this last year when I was getting married because I for sure would have worn this as my reception dress to dance in or at my bridal shower. It's so pretty, it's got this beautiful tiered ruffled huge bell sleeves same tons of ruffled and tiered detailing asymmetrical hemline I don't know if you can see that it is just gorgeous and then it's got this halter cutout with this off the shoulder sleeve that kind of just hangs off of the arm oh my gosh maybe we can renew our vows on house arrest and quarantine this was my bigger purchase on ThreadUp, but I just sold one of her dresses for $150 and I paid $6 for it, so it was one of my biggest profit margins. Love them. Veronica Beard is actually two sisters-in-law who created their own label and they have the same name. And all of the pieces resell incredibly well so if you want to make a lot of money and you find Veronica Beard pick it up this is just a beautiful paisley print silk dress with these waist ties with a ruched arm sleeve kind of a gathered back paneled back right there and then kind of a high low hem and it's perfect for the seasons that we're going into and it's got those little hoop detailing, which is so cute. Embroidered hoops with the buttons. Ugh. Next up, we got this dress. It's from Bardot, which can be found on ASOS and Nordstrom Rack and Nordstrom. And it's just this cute lace-up maxi spaghetti strap dress with that lace-up detailing up front. And then a low deep V back with a full zipper. And then side slits. And it's just a cute basic. I think it was like two or three dollars. Again, it got overlooked because of the brand. So yeah, just gotta get it steamed and it's good to go. Big surprise. This is a beautiful keepsake skirt. It is a high waist mustard yellow with floral print and 
pleated, tiered, ruffle details. I sense a major theme going on here with this haul, and it's ruffles. Um, and it's just a really cute uh, separate. It's just a really cute piece, and it's perfect for the season. And it's so fun and pretty. All right, and then we've got, can you guess what this piece is? It's another keepsake piece. <laughs> and this is just a cute fold over pink mini skirt, full zipper back, pleats. It is, it's just a cute basic. I think it was like two or three dollars, so I went ahead and added it to my cart. Okay. I got so many things inventoried and listed last night, which I feel really good about. I just have to finish this up tonight. Um, gotta get these guys listed. Here is my office. <laughs> Hopefully this stuff will keep me busy for the next couple of months. Um, I was going to do a crossroads haul for you guys but I don't know if that is relevant to today. So for now, I think I'm just gonna focus on um, list with me videos and uh, online sourcing and death pile challenge listing. So anyways, that's my accountability for the day. I hope that you guys are doing okay and I challenge you all to get whatever done you need it to get done. If that means listing stuff, list it. If that means organizing your inventory, do it. If it means updating your books, do it. If it means mending and sewing that pile of clothes, if it means cleaning out your own closet, I challenge you, I challenge you to get it done today. Okay, the accountability starts right now. Let's get to listing and photographing and steaming these items. Let's do it. too long and we're losing daylight so let's just start taking pictures because we only have about an hour and a half left of good sunlight so
I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up because it's the only way that I can make money off of these. <laughs> Um, but anyways, um, stay healthy, stay home, wash your hands, everything is going to be okay. All of this bullshit will be over at some point and people are going to return to normalcy and that means buying clothes again. So hold tight, it's all going to be okay, we're here for each other, have a great day, we'll see you next time. Hmm, soaking it all in, huh? With the baby. Where are we going?